Hey guys, I'm thrilled to tell you about Nylon Sky, an incredible new sonic extension, which at its core is based on the most beautifully expressive nylon string guitar ever done for Omnisphere. This world-class level of craftsmanship was captured by someone whose legacy has shaped the world of sampling for decades. To those in the know, he needs no introduction, but we thought it would be cool to share the story of the masterful artist behind Nylon Sky. I've always viewed myself as a craftsman more than an artist. I've always tried to help people with their projects. That's really the point of this, is it's the next level of making another tool that will help you do your job. Bob was 19 when I met him, and Bob had been snookered into being my roadie. And Bob is not a big guy, and he just had his parents' van, <laughs> and I needed some help, so I said, hey, you wanna come work for Roland? Eric was really the one who taught me how to sample. I mean, he was probably my most critical mentor of everybody that I worked with. Bob was just like this sponge. He just picked up everything. He went very quickly from being uh, a Padawan to being like an equal and somebody I was learning from. Oh, he's definitely a craftsman. I'd, I'd call him nearly psychotic. <laughs> no, he does. He, he's, he sits there and he tweaks and he tweaks and he tweaks and he goes, ah, oh, rubbish, I'll do it again. And he will do it again and he will do it again and again and he will get it until he's happy. The thing that really turned me on about him was here was this really kind of mild man, a guy, and he could shred on the guitar like Van Halen and still sit down and develop these beautiful sounds. You know, obviously Bob is a, is a master sampler, and uh, but I think of him as a musician, really, and the sweetest, sweetest man you could ever meet. Uh, he started working at Roland R&D, and uh, I mentored him in all the different kinds of sampling techniques and sound design and stuff. And he started to get so good at it, he was so advanced, that he came to the attention of a lot of the top composers in LA, uh, particularly Hans Zimmer. Roland loaned Hans Bob back in those days. I think Bob was the first one, uh, obviously, here in the context of working with Hans back in the early 90s, that sort of turned me on to the fact, oh, you could have guitars, and you could have different keyboard sounds, and you could do all this interesting stuff. He's got a great imagination, and he, he'll bring something to the party. You know, if I phoned him up and sort of said, I've got a problem, I really, I really want to, you know, I love a Yaley tambour. I, I want to get it into the score, but, you know, they're just enormous. I can't, I can't buy one and bring it over to England. So just leave it with me. One day, uh, Hans said to Bob, hey, uh, you play guitar, right? Because I, you know, I have all these guitars, and it would be awesome if I could play these on keyboards. So, so Bob was like, "Sure, I'll, I'll do it." So Bob started uh, coming up with all these new techniques. So he created um, Hans Zimmer guitars, and then that became one of Spectrosonic's first sampling products. And those are actually the guitars that are in Omnisphere. So the guitars are very famous in Omnisphere, glorious guitars, and all those kind of patches are some of the favorite sounds in Omnisphere. And Bob actually did those uh, back in the early 90s. That's how advanced he was, is that stuff is still considered just phenomenal. It's a testament to doing good work, which these guys, Bob, Eric, and the crew produced, still stands up. So I think that says something about the work. He's one of the first people to bring this idea of trying to capture the character and the soul of an instrument. This is a sultry I use that Bob sampled. It's one of my favorite sounds still. Pristine, clear, I can still hear his fingernails on it. I'm happy to see that he's cut still to this day coming up with new stuff. And so he's constantly, you know, looking to innovate and try doing maybe the same thing in a different way, but maybe some new things that he never even thought of before. So Bob's just gone on to do these incredible things, and I'm super excited about what we're doing with Sonic Extensions as being the next generation of these sounds. One of the requests that we get all the time at Spectrosonics is for guitar sounds. And so it's really exciting to be able to partner with Bob, who's really the master of these kinds of sounds, and actually be creating these new guitar sounds that you can take in all these different directions in Omnisphere through Sonic Extensions. It's really the marriage of all the technical knowledge I've had rattling around up here for the last 20 years combined with features of Omnisphere like synthesis, effects, 
Uh, so you can really take what, what starts out as a great pristine guitar sound and just go crazy with it. Because Bob is such an expressive player, that expression actually goes into the samples. And what a lot of people don't realize when they're playing these samples is that it's Bob's expression that they're playing and that's inspiring them to be expressive. So that's like a really cool way that technology and humanity kind of come together. And Bob's really a master of that. It's really important to be able to put your hands down on the instrument, play it, and feel like, yeah, that's awesome. I want to write a piece of music now. That's really where everything is headed with sonic extensions. It inspires you to make music, and that's what it's all about. So it's super exciting to be at this point where sonic extensions is now available, and there's real products, and they're amazing, and Bob's been with me the whole time.